Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and uh, we're going to be covering some articles here, some different headlines been shared with me through friends, both on Twitter, also email. A lot of different friends that send us information there. Don't always get to cover everything, but we do appreciate uh, your kindness and sharing uh, things with us that are going on around the world and putting those pieces together for you here on Israeli News Live. Also, if you're not a subscriber on Patreon, be sure to go to Patreon Israeli News Live. That The link to that will be below. I am going to be going into some very interesting uh, things that I've discovered in the Dead Sea Scrolls recently. I think it might be a blessing to many of you that like that. Uh, and uh, we'll be also doing a teaching later today. Be over on iConnectFX.com as well as the Noon Institute. So trust y'all will be there and all those links are below for you. Uh, at any rate, this has, of course, been brought to my attention by several different friends, including those in the Intel community, about the, uh, the ship there, the Evergreen ship that is blocking the Suez Canal. Uh, is this a deliberate effort in order to stagnate the world's economy, cause more problems? Well, there's no doubt about it. We are in Satan's kingdom right now, and uh, he is definitely a very busy guy trying to disrupt everything. And of course, the global economies bring those to a complete halt in order to establish this one world government, one world system. Uh, that's all part of it. So I'm going to play a little clip of this from uh, uh, CNN Business. And uh, uh, I'll kind of fast forward a little bit because I want you to be able to hear some of the things that the analyst uh, that, that speaks in this video is saying. What this is going to cause is kind of an accordion effect on world trade. Let me get past some of the music here. Well, it's not letting me move it forward. I guess we'll just have to kind of go along with it. There. And kicked out and kind of almost like power slide across the canal and wedged itself on the western side. Of the canal, so you have a you basically have a thirteen hundred foot vessel that's across a thousand foot canal. Kind of makes you wonder if the tugboats are not there, not just not trying to rescue the ship, but keeping it wedged in the canal. Uh, but let's continue to listen. I want you to hear what he's going to say about this. It, you're seeing, of course, on your screen the different uh, uh, fact informations on this. But it's important, though, where he speaks about looking at affecting about 5. the global economy. 2 million barrels of oil a day, 3.3 million tons of cargo a day. The amount is, is, is staggering. Well, you're going to see immediately gas prices go up in Europe. You're going to see commodities that are needed for manufacturing in Europe may not be able to get there. So you may see car production factories shut down because parts are not arriving in time. There could be material in there for COVID, for you know swabs for testing. The Suez Canal is the jugular vein of trade, and now you've pinched it closed. And, and it's going to have a huge detrimental effect on the world economy. All right. That's really what I wanted to get to. And unfortunately, we had to kind of go through the whole video and, 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 and to do that. But uh, with that being stated, <clears throat> is it intentional? There's absolutely no doubt about that it is intentional. It's to affect and to collapse global economic system one step at a time in order to bring you under a new world order, a globalist regime, because the beast empire in the Middle East, in Israel, is rising to take that power. Uh, then I also got this information here. This, of course, is another tactic of collapsing nations, bringing them under submis submission to this globalist agenda. Uh, and sadly, it's the U.S. that's involved in this. U.S. trucks cross into Iraq with smuggled Syrian wheat, uh, is the report. And unfortunately, a lot of uh, people that support our military uh, feel like, well, you know, we deserve this because we're over there over there doing what? <laughs> Destabilizing the entire region is what we're actually over there for. Uh, but uh, some people believe that we deserve it because like Trump was saying, Trump said that we deserve the oil. We, we never get paid for going over there to help these people. Well, we didn't go to Syria to help anybody. We went there to help uh, ISIS to overthrow uh, this government that was uh, somewhat neutral 
when it came to the different religious uh, views in that country. Both uh, you could be Jewish, you could be you could be Christian, you could be uh, Muslim, you could be what you want, and, and have somewhat uh, of freedom of worship in this nation. But they couldn't tolerate that, so they had to squash it and crush it. Uh, and, and break the backbone of Syria so that they could bring the other Arabic nations underneath the beast kingdom that is rising there right inside of Jerusalem. But anyway, according to the article right here, is is very troubling. Local sources told Sir, uh, Syria's official news agency, Sana, that 38 military vehicles loaded with wheat entered the Iraqi territory Saturday through Al-Walid border crossing. Uh, it came only two days after the convoy of of, of over a dozen U.S. military trucks, U.S. military trucks left the same Syrian region for northern Iraq, reported carrying tens of tons of grain. Sana reported at the time that 18 military vehicles uh, rumbled through uh, Simalka border crossing and headed towards Iraq. Uh, so all this is being stolen from the Syrian people, uh, whether it's being sold, sold or whether it's being given to the uh, Kurds. You know, I don't really know the answer to that. Uh, but somebody is definitely prof profiteering off of it, and it's not the people of Syria who actually grew this, uh, and sadly enough, to totally be devastated by uh, this theft. Now, but here's what's interesting. Uh, I saw this on Twitter, and this is of an old, old video of Bernie Sanders. Uh, I, should, I say old, old, I'm not really sure the date on the video there. But uh, Bernie Sanders talking, a uh, lady named Maria I uh, put this out, the domination of the colonies uh, so that big companies in given country can take resources of those countries for their own use. And Bernie Sanders is actually talking about how the U.S. government uh, has always overthrown other nations uh, for corporate interest. Well, listen for yourself. Uh, I, there are a lot of things I don't agree with on Bernie Sanders by no means. Of course, I don't agree with any of these politicians. It doesn't matter if they're Democrat or Republican. They're all working for the devil and the beast system in the first place. Uh, but he does make very truthful statements. And uh, and what he states here could also be said for uh, the uh, Qaddafi of Libya when they overthrew his nation. But just listen. Control what we see here and read. But if you check American history, you know, sometimes the president will tell you, well, we're always defenders of freedom. We believe in freedom. But if you check history, what you will find is that in many years, especially in Latin America, which way back from when President Monroe developed his Monroe Doctrine, we have the right to own Latin America, and we will tell any government there what we want to happen. That's the simple truth. So throughout our history, we have overthrown many, many governments. We didn't like their form of government. In the case of Chile in 1973, what you had is an election in which a guy named Salvador Allende won the election. Problem is, Nixon and his friends didn't like him. Why? Because Salvin Allende fought for the poor people and the working people of that country. He, belong, he believed that the resources of Chile, their Here copper mines and so forth, should belong to the people. And he won a free election. No one denied that for a second. It was a tough election. He didn't win by much, but he won a free election. There was another election. His party got more support. He was overthrown by the CIA and corporate interest. Because corporate interests preferred, of course, that the United States companies dominate that country. And a lot of what politics is about going way, way back to the 19th century, to England, France, is the domination of colonies so that big companies in a given country can take the resources. And that's exactly what's going on even now with Syria. That's what's going on with the blocking of the Suez Canal, etc., I mean, it's just the facts. You can't get around the facts of that truth. And it's just really appalling. Uh, I know Libya, the same thing happened there with Muammar Gaddafi. He believed that the people uh, should all get a paycheck from the oil revenues of this country that is very rich in oil. Uh, so they had to kill him. Uh, they had, what was that in, um, I forget, was it, uh, there's a little country in South America just recently where the president, uh, was overthrown because of the, the resources. In fact, we have some friends there that we had on our broadcast that talked about this, uh, how they were overthrowing his government. And Israel and the United States were the ones behind the overthrow of this man because he believed that the natural resources, which were is nickel, uh, I believe what they make the lithium battery, batteries from, belonged to the people. 
And so he had set up an amazing system uh, for the people to be uh, compensated for that. Uh, a lot of government incentives, free health care, free everything, uh, because he was using the money for that. So they didn't like it. The corporations wanted to own it. So they overthrew this guy. And they put in a, a puppet president uh, that would pander to both Israeli and American interest instead and big corporations. Uh, so that's exactly what's going on. And this is what's happening across the world. This is what's happening at the Suez Canal. Uh, just, of course, that's not an overthrow of a government, but it is to uh, cause a, a, a standstill of uh, supplies to the world so that they can cause an economic collapse in other parts of the world, including the United States, which, by the way, is being targeted, just like we are targeting uh, the, the wheat uh, over in Syria to, to bring that country down. Uh, so then you have this situation here. Bloomberg, China signs 25-year deal with Iran and challenge to the U.S. Uh, that's another destabilizing factor. And, uh, of course, this whole deal with China and Iran just goes to show it's going to be part of that new world order. China and Iran signed an, uh, an overreaching deal aimed at uh, char uh, charting the course of their economic, political, and trade relations over the next 25 years. Beijing plans to invest in Iran while buying oil from the Islamic Republic, further straining its relationship with the U.S., which has already been frayed by China's imports of covertly shipped Iranian crude. Uh, that's not going to stop. And, uh, you know, of course, that could even be to another reason why they kind of blocked the Suez Canal. It is a power struggle in this world over who's going to dominate. But don't mistake anything. Israel controls uh, China. And uh, so and in Iran is a nuclear power. Absolutely a nuclear power, 100 percent. Doesn't matter what anybody thinks. It is true. Uh, and kind of in a little side note news there, a uh, good friend of ours uh, sent this to us. Uh, 49 migrants held against their will by armed smugglers near the border in Texas. Uh, they were discovered. They, were, they did a, uh, doing a welfare check, ran across, uh, I think with a neighbor, ran across this group of people there that were being held in there. I don't know exactly what they're being held for, but it was mostly men only, I think with just a couple of minors. They didn't say specify the age of those minors. It could have been teenage boys for all we know. Um, but police were able to uh, bring these people in as well as the, the armed group that was carrying them. They, they were able to confiscate the weapons, et cetera, things like that. Uh, that's just one there. No telling how many more that could be there on our border and, of course, what all is going on on there. Um, the, the, let's face it. It is the demise of this nation is what's coming, a total demise of this nation. Uh, but at any rate, uh, boy, we had some really crazy weather last night. I was unable to record because the weather was massively nuts here. Heavy, heavy rains, the lightning, totally crazy as, as could be. And kind of thinking of that, I didn't open this because I wasn't thinking about this to start with. I just figured I'd share that with you. Uh, so it reminds me of the AMP Shield. And I just want to check. And the only reason I'm checking right now is because are, is, there, is that sale still going on? Uh, and so let's just see real quick um, if we were to click on something here. Let's say if you were getting getting one for your generator, for example. Um, uh, I just want to see if that savings is still there because, you know, every so often EMP Shield does an extra savings event. And, uh, and if they've got that, that's when I like to see you guys blessed by that. Um, Here's one right here for solar power, for example, a $389 unit. If we were to add that to our cart, let's just see what happens. I know when you use the code for Israeli News Live, INL, um, uh, let's go ahead and go to the cart with it there. Uh, you get the $50 discount automatically. So let's go to the cart and see though if there's still a discount being offered here. So we're going to do, we're going to apply the INL coupon code. For me, it's automatically in there because I um, I keep doing this to show people how this works. So I'm going to apply that code there. Uh, yeah, I did see the COVID relief sale is there. All right, so it is there in the picture. And so that if you did that, you save a total of eighty dollars. But I noticed though, if you up if you bought a second item last time we did this, 
it seemed that if you got a second item, you got a $40 discount. So let me just, I don't really know. I, I, I'm just guessing, friends. The only reason I bring that up is because, like I said, you know, while they got the sale going, I think it's only to the end of the month here. Uh, let's just check for your RV. I, I don't have an RV, but let's just say you got one for your RV. Um, you know, I figured you would want to know what the, you know, the, the, you, you, you get to save a little bit of money. So let's just go ahead and add that to the card as well. And that was the other thing too. You always get a discount for every time you get one. So if we add that one, we go to the INL code, INL 50, we enter that. All right, see now, because we have two things in the cart, they've removed $100. So you've already saved 100 bucks because you bought two. Um, yeah, and then see now you got a forty dollar COVID relief thing. So I guess if it's if you buy one, you're going to get a thirty dollar COVID relief, and if you buy more than one, it goes up to forty. Um, now you know I tell you what though, now it's got me really curious. I'm curious to know what happens if we were to do a third one. I'm going to look just out of curiosity. So let's go to vehicle protection. All right. And this is, to me, the vehicle protection is the most important one. And the reason I always say that is because um, if you get the vehicle protection, that's for your wife, if, or in the case of a husband, vice versa, the wife's worried about her husband. He's at work. He's so far away from home. And um, all right, so let's go to the cart. We've added this other one. I'm just curious. Um all right, so we're going to apply a code here, the INL50. We applied it. All right, let's just see. Now. And then. Okay, so it stays at 40 at that point. So after you do one, every extra one you do, then they up, the, they up it to $40 each. Uh, so they actually, even the first one you get, you get, instead of getting 30, you're going to get a $40 discount on the first one as well. If you buy more than one, so it seems to continue to go down. So actually the total should be 1,167 if I ordered all three of these, but instead you would only pay $897. You would be saving, um, uh, $270 is what you would actually save by doing that. So yeah, if it's to the end of the month, definitely consider that friends. Uh, and don't forget, Patreon. Sign up over there on Patreon. And uh, if you're having trouble to watching our videos, let me just remind you that IsraeliNewsLive.org. Uh, messed up on doing that. Let me get it right here for you. Um, IsraeliNewsLive.org, our website. When you go there, you can watch our broadcast there on our website. All right, because some people don't like different things. Not everything always pops up here. And don't forget, you can click right here on that little window there. You can drop down and you can see other uh, videos as well that are in the list. All right. So uh, brace yourselves. What is that one there about? Good afternoon, friends. Steve and uh, these are where a lot of the sensitive videos can be seen because they're all on iConnect, but you're not having to watch it through iConnect. You can actually see it right here through our own website. Uh, but I encourage you to sign up for I connect because by the way, I connect this week, we are going to be available in multiple languages. It is the first platform to ever offer that technology. Um, and it is the most advanced technology there is. So I really, really encourage you get signed up, especially if you want to be able to you, you speak, you preach the gospel and you want people to be able to hear it in another language. Now we're the beta test. So, you know, we kind of look, get a little. We we get a little bit of the extra blessing. They're going to let us run on there for like a month or so before while they're testing it before they allow it to the general public. Now we are a paid level on iConnectFX, but we're excited about it because I'm really going to press the gospel of Jesus Christ uh, so that it can be preached in multiple languages around the world. And you'll also have the ability to go in there and edit on that, uh, which is going to be very exciting. If it, like, like I can bring in editors that are natives and say Spanish or whatever, and they'll listen to our videos and they can go in there and say, this word needs to be corrected. That's not what actually Steve is saying. And it teaches the system to be able to perfectly translate in that language what I'm saying. And it's voice. 
This is not translating by seeing little words on the bottom. This is so people can hear. Why is that important? Why? Because Jesus said, he that has an ear to hear, let him hear. And faith cometh by hearing the word of God. All right. So that's why it's exciting to me. You know, of course, I mean, we realize some people are deaf and it's better to have writings. I agree with that, too. Uh, so I don't know how that'll work out, but I'm really excited about this. So uh, thank you. Thank you for your support of this ministry. We appreciate that. Uh, our, our mailing address is here on the screen there. We thank you for your love and your kindness. God bless you.